the Wild Coast is a special place and a lot of people who have been there come back every year over and over again just to enjoy it. There's a feeling when you drive onto that pond, uh, you almost leave the real world behind and you are now in the wild. You gotta wake up early, you gotta enjoy those sunrises, you gotta yeah. walk along the beach and feel feel the water and the sand between your toes. It, it literally is a playground for those who want to go and, and enjoy it. We've chosen the wild coast for a very good reason. This is a place where, as, as our catchphrase says, anywhere is possible. Um, and we've literally gone everywhere and anywhere to establish the, the credibility from an off-road perspective with our grabber tires. I think it's a D-Day today for us. We've got to start up of the event. Um, it's been a long haul to get here. I mean, conditions change all the time. The routes change, variable all the time. So we think today is a good, a good track. Tomorrow it's, it's a river. So you know, it's very difficult for us to plan. But I think it's part of the adventure. I mean, anywhere is possible. And yeah, we're going to prove it. Time to grab a, an adventure. Today it's a lot of driving to where the fun stuff starts where we can really put these tires and these vehicles to the test. Normal road pressures at about 2.2 cold um, rattle your fillings out completely on this road. So we wanted to show that it's not just comfort that you deflate your pressures for, it's, it's control. Fortunately, they dropped the tyre pressures too. What are we at? 1.5 in front. Yes. And the deflation on the tyres actually makes it so much more comfortable. It, it, it does for sure, but I think it is also um, the, flex the flexibility of the sidewall. Now you can actually enjoy the view because your eyes aren't going focus, focus. And the saddest part is, half of South Africans have never been here, not even close. It's truly, truly special. It's gorgeous. It's difficult to get here. And yeah, uh, the roads are tough. You have to have the right equipment. And luckily, you know, with the general grabbers we have on the Suzus, no problem. With the right equipment, like your, AT, your ATXs, um, you can get anywhere, indeed. This is not a built course. It's, a, it's not a track. It's a trail, and um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a trail that changes every day with, with the rain, and uh, a lot of rock, a lot of mud, especially now there's a lot of mud here. Yesterday was just the taster, today is the actual, um, the highlight of what's going to happen. So I think we're all looking forward to it. Uh, just for today, same rules apply as yesterday, seat belts on, headlights on all the time, windows closed for the dust, but when we do river crossings, which we'll do a quite a deep one just now, all the windows open, okay? So if something goes wrong, you can get out the vehicle. Hard to leave such a beautiful spot in the morning, but we had to go adventuring. Day two is where all the technical stuff happens, so just chatting to the wow. media as well, they're absolutely fired up. I'm looking forward to this. Cool, eh? At least it seems to have gone down since what, three weeks ago when they were here. I don't think I've ever done a, a river crossing that deep. <laughs> I was worried about the door seals and everything, but uh, yeah, yeah, the vehicle kept up. The 
softness in the tire of how it sort of just gently climbs and crawls over rocks and you know in that river crossing there are rocks underneath you can't see what's going on underneath but you can sort of feel as the car goes across so properly comfortable so part of our grabber range we have our 83 which is a 50 50 all-terrain and in this particular instance we are showcasing the outer white letter version um, also light truck spec the 83 is is really such a well-balanced tire for doing this type of work but also very very comfortable um, in road conditions for everyday commute grabber atx is specifically catered for the 4x4 market a grabber atx has a, what we call solid or raised white lettering so you get that really stand out white lettering on the sidewall obviously the atx being a more aggressive pattern um, and, and with that comes slightly better off-road um, capabilities in certain conditions like mud um, and extreme rock gravel. We also have our Grabber X3 in the range which is our mud terrain tyre and, uh, and the Grabber X3 is, is really that 2080 application we call it so 20% road, 80% off-road. Uh, the person that would typically um, only drive the 20% portion of tar to get to the 80% off-road portion for the 4x4 adventures. <laughs> Having fun. <laughs> River crossings, going up mountains, going down mountains, going where there are no roads. Um, and I guess if you have the right tools for the job, you can pretty much do anything. Uh, so we just spent the entire day off-road and really in extreme terrain and uh, and now we you know, are back on tar, we've increased the pressure and um, it feels as if we just back to normal yeah. <laughs> everyday driving experience. Yeah, that's right. Hi guys, so you choose whatever ingredients you want, you're allowed to make three snacks. Can we have enough, he has a plan. Have enough of that? Some salmon. I don't know, but it's the G of General Tire. Can you see the G? Just like the General Tire crew, we are getting the compound just right. <laughs> What I remember from MasterChef, it's a secret recipe. Uh, yeah, I think when I went here. Yeah. I haven't tried anything here because I don't eat that. I hope it's delicious. Yeah, sushi is called Isushi. Isushi. Like Isushi. Oh, because of, obviously, because we're in the Eastern Cape. Yes. Yeah. Bruschetta with, um, it's a fancy pancetta ham. Well, so the dish today <laughs> is. Uh... If you look closely, you will see General Grabber tracks. Yeah, you can see there. Yes. Look closely there. For me, it was the first time having basil inside sushi, so that was quite unusual. Mm. That's very good. It looks quite rugged too. Mm. <laughs> Gentlemen, we present to you something. Oh, yes. Makkelijk but lekker. You can see the sushi is imperfect. Yes. Like the Transkai. Exactly. That's why it's called Transkai sushi. Yes. I don't want to get out the car because I've, I've actually had such a good time. Uh, with, with the Suzu and, and uh, the general grabbers. It's not my with, skills. Not with Danny Forth. Really enjoyed it. Rough ride. But uh, it was a lot of fun. It was awesome. Um, it was, has been a while since we did anything like this and the tyres proved themselves to be incredible. We did the mud stuff, I did well in that, we did some rocks, we did some uh, lower uh, tyre pressures and I must say it coped incredibly well.